you tell them one thing. Just one thing, dude. It's your boy Samori to back at it again with another video. Now, I know that I did a video not too long ago, but you already know that the Raiders had two picks in the third round with the 79th overall selection and the 80th overall selection. Now, Mike Mayock did say that today was going to be a defensive day, and he wasn't lying at all because the Raiders addressed the defensive side of the ball in the second and third round today. So, with that being said, with the 79th overall selection, the Raiders went out and selected Malcolm Kuntz, Edge, out of Buffalo. Khalil Mack, who? Now, ironically, a lot of people have been saying that Malcolm Kuntz is the best player coming out of Buffalo since Khalil Mack. And if you guys already know, the Raiders drafted Khalil Mack back in 2014. But you know what? That's besides the point. Now, the funny thing is, John Gruden was the guy that initially traded away Khalil Mack. And he, he made a funny joke over the phone with Malcolm Kuntz saying that, you know, the last time the Raiders drafted a, a guy out of Buffalo, he was pretty good. But I like the confidence, you know, with uh, Kuntz saying that, you know, they got a good player in him in the third round. The last time we drafted a pass rusher out of Buffalo, he was pretty good. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I got a good one right now, too. Now, to be honest with you guys, when we drafted Kuntz, I didn't even know who this guy was, but after hearing what everybody had to say about him, saying that this guy was an underrated pass rusher in the draft, I'm okay with it, you know? And I did my due diligence. I looked at the tape. I looked at some of his films, even some of his highlights. And the thing that stands out from him is this dude could get to the quarterback. And when he does get to the quarterback, whew, he hits him hard. Pause. Not only that, Mike Mayock had a lot of nice things to say about this guy. And and Mike Mayock and John Gruden, they were both surprised that he fell down to 79. And they felt like this was the must-have pick for the Raiders. Like I said before, a lot of analysts had a round two grade on him. And the fact that we picked him up in the third round, it was a good pick for the Raiders. But one thing that stood out to me in Mike Mayock's press conference about Koontz was that his pro comparison for him is ironically Yannick Ngakwe, who the Raiders just signed this past offseason. And I believe if... Kuntz can be like 50 to 70% of what Unique has been in the NFL, then this is a great pick for the Raiders. Just hearing what everybody has to say about him and what Mike Melk and John Gruden had to say about him, and it just seems like he's the complete package. The only reason why he fell this far or the only reason why he wasn't getting as much recognition is because of the school he's coming out of. You're talking about a guy that has long arms. He has a lot of speed and is a bendy player. And... He explodes off the line of scrimmage. And on top of that, he has a plethora of moves in his inventory, including a fake spin move, which I hear Mike Mayock really loved. I'm pretty sure that the Raiders will use him as a pass rusher on third downs, you know, alongside of Max Crosby. So I'm really excited about this pick. I can't wait to see what he can do under Gus Bradley's defense. In his four seasons at Buffalo, he's tallied 109 tackles, 22 and a half tackles for loss, and 17 sacks. Though I did not know too much about him going into the draft, after hearing everything and, and seeing what people had to say about this guy and seeing his tape and seeing uh, just the skill set that he, he provides, you know, on the defensive side, I'm really excited to see what he would do in 2021. So overall, I would grade this pick a solid B. But what do you guys think, Raider Nation? Do you guys think this, this was a solid move by the Raiders getting Coons here in the third round with a 79th overall selection? Let me know down in the comments below. Now with the 80th overall selection, the Raiders went out and selected Divine Diablo safety slash linebacker out of Virginia Tech. First of all, let's be honest. That's a badass last name. And to see it on the back of a Raiders jersey, whoo wee My neck and my back. Now, initially, I did say that he was a safety because that's the position he played over in college. But I do believe that the plan for the Raiders is to move him as that weak side linebacker to play against the run and cover tight ends man to man because he does that real well. And in a division with a lot of solid tight ends and Travis Kelsey, and with no offense, we're going to need that. Now, there was a lot of high praise from Mike Mayock and John Gruden. They really liked this guy, and they were surprised that he fell this far. I do believe that he's going to be a solid player under Gus Bradley's defense. And according to a lot of scouts out there, their pro comparison for uh, Divine Diablo is, ironically, Cam Chancellor. And for the Raiders, you know, we already have Gus Bradley, who did coach Cam Chancellor. And if we can somehow, some way, use him in that same role, then, man, the sky's the limit for this player. This dude is athletic. This dude is a beast. He has the size, the length to do everything that you want him to do. Even though he might play linebacker, he still has those same coverage abilities that he did have in college when, you know, he played safety. And he is coming off of his best season yet as a starter, leading the ACC in interceptions with four. Diablo is such a versatile player. He has a size, standing at 6'3", 229 pounds. He has a strength. This dude is an incredible athlete, running a 4'4", 40, and is a tackling 
killing machine. There's nothing that's going to get past this guy. And this guy is a playmaker. In his career, he's totaled 206 tackles, 12 and a half tackles for loss, 6 interceptions, 11 pass breakups, and 3 forced fumbles. Now, the only knock that I do have against Diablo is that he doesn't really have great recovery speed and he has only put together one solid season of production. But with all that aside, he will most likely battle it out with Tanner Muse for that nickel linebacker role. Now, he could either be a rotational piece on the defensive side or just play special teams in his first year. We just never know what he can provide for us right now. But Diablo has got all the tools to be a great defensive player. He's just got to put it all together. And to be honest with you guys, I really do like this pick as well. And I think that this would be a solid B for the Raiders. But do you guys agree with me? What are your grades for Divine Diablo in the third round? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys right now. I know it's a late night right now but i thought i'd just pump out this video before your boy heads to sleep i just wanted to talk about these last two picks until you know day three when we finally finish up the whole draft so how are you guys thinking about the draft so far for me i'm liking it man getting alex leatherwood in the first round getting trayvon merrick in the second round and going back to back getting uh malcolm coons and now getting divine diablo it's starting to look a, a bit solid right now but We'll have to see what we'll do in day three. Again, I will be putting out a draft hype video at the end of the at the end of the draft. So be on the lookout for that, Raider Nation. And if you guys did enjoy this video, then smash that like button. Again, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel and you love the Las Vegas Raiders, then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when I upload more videos just like this one. Until the next video, this is your boy Small Raider, and your boy is yeah.